So I'm going to finish up talking here by talking about so what. Um, and the so what of all of this is that we're now in Greene County. And uh, they are our sustaining Kuji community for um, next academic year. And we've uh, a slightly different um, process with them this year than, than we, we've had in the past. And one of the things that we're working on is working with the community to really very uh, explicitly uh, talk about their um, assets and have the community members themselves start to list all of their assets and um, really uh, get, get them to talk about the things that make them most proud in their community. And we've also, instead of only asking our coordinating committee who submitted an application to become our sustaining Kuji community, instead of only asking them what do they think we should be working on the community, we've extended that to ask every partner who comes to a meeting to give us their project ideas, to tell us, they have to first tell us what their assets are, and they can only come up with project ideas that build on assets. Um, because what we found in our application process is there's such a huge need in our communities for this kind of work that it's really tempting to say, yeah, I know you can't do it, but we need a new road and we need a new this. And it, well, it's like, well, we can't do that for you. We can't build you, uh, you we can't move I-69 away from where they ended up putting it, right? But, um, but that we could. But, uh, you know, but we can work with what you already have and what the assets are that are already there. So uh, yes, uh, Green County is our, is our um, partner, and we had an opportunity to have a huge, um, re really eventful, full packed house, um, big community meeting uh, with 40 some people from which we got 90 project ideas for Green County for the next academic year. And don't worry, we'll, we'll be going through them one at a time alphabetically um, in about 10 minutes. Um, no, we won't be doing that. But, um, uh, this is the community assets mapping that we've done. So we were looking at the assets mapping that Flora and Flora have used, and uh, we really like their work, except it's really hard to apply in community because you're asking people to tell you the difference between a social capital and a human capital, and it's just, it's just confusing. So what we did, we, we put stuff in buckets for ourselves that made sense for us. So we asked people to tell us, what do you got going on in education? What have you got going on in housing? What are the things you're most proud of in these areas, in, in recreation? What about, what about resources, like actual real natural resources? What's going on there? And we have now a huge stack of these, um, of these asset lists, which is really helpful for us. It's great to have community members do this work too, because they sit around at the table and they go, that's not in our county. And they go, yeah, it is. It's in our county. No, 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 it's not in our county. And then there's like somebody else chimes in. Well, of course it is. So they're even learning things about their own, and own communities as they go. So once we have them complete, complete the community asset mapping, so basically doing our work for us, um, we then moved on to project ideas. And we, had a, we have a project form. It's very easy for, them to, easy for people to fill out. But it has them start with what are the issues and the opportunities and what assets are you leveraging? Who's the right person to be in charge of this project? Even if it's your idea, you might not be the right person to be in charge. And what historically has gone on in your community around this that we need to be aware of? And folks have you know, filled out these, uh, these forms, and we now have a huge number of these opportunities for Green County. So where are we with our process? We are right here. course matching, we're starting to really start to think about scopes of work for projects um, and really thinking about what, what all is going to happen to need to have the faculty side of the house come together with the community ideas to really um, to pull this off. Um, these are, oh my gosh, we misspelled Green County. It has three E's, Adrian. I only put two E's in there. It's, it's got three E's and I only have two. Um, but these are just a few sample Last night, I sat down with some of those project forms and just pulled out a, a few of the samples. Um, we, have projects, we have project ideas in every single one of our 10 asset areas. So with, whether you think your discipline or your own affinity maps to one project, one kind of asset area or another, we have something for you. Um, there's lots of work to be done around education, lots of work to be done around recreation, arts, and culture, Shawnee Theater, the sculpture trails out in, um, in Salisbury, the Tulip Trestle, which I'm sure you're all aware of, lots of work to be done around housing and leadership. So tons of opportunities for involvement, and we will be having some meetings. Um, this is um, five points to anyone who can name this location in Green County. Say it loud. 
Goose pond, absolutely. Those are, in fact, also geese flying in the air. So for those of you who want to be part of our early bird pre-spring break special, uh, you can come to a faculty meeting on Thursday, March the 7th in the Dogwood Room at 3.30. Uh, please make note of that. If, however, you are more like me and a late bloomer, um, you, we encourage you to come after spring break to a March 22nd faculty meeting. Um, and uh, we have not yet to uh, have a location for that. But there will be two opportunities for our faculty to really get to grips with these um, community projects and uh, figure out um, you know, how, how to move forward and what the next step is. But the next step is now. It's thinking about now. What do you know you're going to teach? What do you know you have capacity for to put a project in? We don't want people to do more work than they have to. It's not about completely redesigning your curriculum. It's about finding a project that can fit into the work that you already know you're going to be doing in the next academic year. And we really want to partner with you um, on, on getting that done and getting these projects out there. Green County is not as far away as Orange County, parts of it. That's for sure. Um, but there's lots going on there. So I encourage your um, participation. I encourage you to talk to John. Also, Deb Getz is in the room. Uh, Jeannie Johnson is in the room, who've also talked with us in the past. Um, I don't think I see any of other, our other faculty. But yeah, talk to folks. Um, Andrew Predmore uh, is our resilience co-chair in the back of the room over there. Please talk to Andrew as well about all things resilience. He'd be happy to, uh, to talk to you. So thanks so much for your attention. Hopefully we whip through it in enough time that we still got time for networking, questions and answers, and snacks. <laughs>